We'll get started with an opening statement from Coach, then we can take questions. We have microphones on each side. Thank you. Um, I, I thought there were really in a no particular order five things that stood out uh, to me about the game. Uh, number one is uh, obviously they're really good. Uh, I felt that way coming into the game watching film. And when they have five guys that can dribble, pass, and shoot like that, indicative of their four turnovers for the 40 minutes, uh, makes them very difficult uh, to defend. And, um, you know, I, I certainly don't coach their team. You have to ask Coach Ryan, but I thought they played well. You know, I'm interested to see what his opinion uh, is, and I think that uh, certainly they had a lot to do with the outcome. I think the second thing that stood out uh, for me was the fact that we got browbeat on the backboard. It's unacceptable. Three of them were on free throw blockouts when you're not in rotation and you've got inside position in the first half, and that part was really disappointing uh, to give up more offensive rebounds than we, than we were able to get defensive rebounds for a team like ours that's ranked top 35 in the country in defensive rebounding percentage. I thought that was really disappointing. Thought it was a key to the game, and we just didn't get the job done there. Uh, thirdly, turnovers. Um, I know we finished with 10, uh, but two of them were in the second half, which I thought was better for sure. But we had to address that at halftime because we got eight at the half. That's not us. I thought five of them were situations where they just took our ball, and uh, we lacked some toughness there. Uh, you know, no, no player, uh, regardless of team or level, wants someone just to deflect their pass or take their ball. And I thought that uh, we needed to be a lot tougher with the ball. We did do that in the second half. I thought that was good. Um, fourth thing is I thought we had some guys who have been playing at a really high level here of late, and for whatever reason, maybe didn't quite have that today. Um, and obviously, when you're playing a really good team like Wisconsin, you know you're gonna you're gonna need to you know you're gonna need to have that. Um, and then lastly, I, I just I thought Kaminsky was terrific. Um, I, I thought that. Uh, you know, he scored it at all three levels of the court. He made very difficult shots. Uh, he passed it well, obviously had a double-double. I've -double. Uh, watched him play a lot. I think he's certainly one of the country's best players, and today he definitely played like it. Questions? We've got microphones on each side. Can you flag them down, or we'll get one to you. John, how much of the mistakes and, and the execution things that you guys messed up had to do with them and, and as opposed to you guys just messing some things up yourselves? Well, the turnovers, when you have five times, and, and they, they're the guys taking the ball. So, you know, it's not like it's just us. But I, we, we can't ha have that happen. I mean, that's, that's you know, we've got to be better there. You know, uh, same thing with the rebounding, especially on the free throw line, Marcus. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard to block out when you're in rotation, scrambling. You're not in rotation on the free throw block out. Now, sometimes one will happen in a game. I mean, stuff happens, bad bounds or whatever. But three and a half is totally inexcusable. Jim? Right back here, you're right. <coughs> yes? You helped commit to another point for a pretty significant stretch in the second half, and yet Wisconsin's efficiency numbers don't dip during that stretch. How difficult is it when you can take away the number one scoring option and there's still two, three, or four other options there? What stretch is that? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm not playing with you. Um, yeah, I thought Keeney was terrific in the second half offensively. And I, I just think, you know, you expend all that energy and effort defending them, and um, and then we give up that many offensive rebounds. Or you can look at them if you're on their side and say they went and got those offensive rebounds. I'm sure it's a little bit of both. Uh, and then now you got to sit down and guard them again. You know, and they're already the number one offensive efficiency team in the last 17 years of analytics. So it would be preferable to guard them one time instead of multiple times on a trip down the floor. Jim? John, you mentioned some guys who have been playing at a high level. For you. I think none would have been one of those. It, it looked like he had to really work hard for his points. So what was the issue there? Yeah, he just didn't have a good day today at either end of the floor. But I, I love Ken. I love coaching Ken. He's a terrific player. Today just was not his day. Thanks. John, in the first half, there were uh, uh, times when I think Malcolm was on Kaminsky, and Kaminsky scored a time when none, same, Tate even. Um, so how was that happening where guys are getting switched out? And, and yeah, suddenly sometimes you transition ready. defense, you don't have your man. Uh, sometimes in inbound situations or screening situations, you don't have your man. We tried to minimize that as much as possible. But obviously that's kind of what I was alluding to earlier. When you're a terrific passing team like that, you can exploit that probably more than most teams. When you have five guys out there that can pass like that, you know, you got uh, Nigel Hayes going into the game, you know, as a forward front court player, is 30 to 15 assist to turnover ratio. I mean, 
mean, that's disgusting. You know, I mean, it's terrific. So they can really pass, and I think uh, obviously they did a good job of taking advantage of some of those situations. John, John, what's going on with, with LeBron in the past couple of games? He's struggled playing, not minutes are going down as a result. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily anything he's done. You know, last game it was more matchups. Marcus today it was more just kind of flow and instincts of the game. You know, obviously, uh, you know, we went with a uh, little bit smaller lineup there with Hill at the four with our four guards. Um, the other day, Michigan was small. And, uh, you know, today I thought those guys had a pretty good rhythm. Um, so we just kind of stuck with those guys. But we're going we're gonna to need LeRon. Tom, in the back. Back here. Uh, you played some zone today. Was that... Uh, Kaminsky oriented? Uh, no, not necessarily. Just we've done that in other games as well. Um, trying to use it a little bit as a uh, as a rhythm changer. You know, as we talked about their efficiency there earlier. Uh, you know, trying to slow them down, throw them some. You know, throw them maybe a curveball or slider or change up. And, you know, try to try to slow them down the best that uh, you know the best that you can. Coach uh, Ray had a couple of explosive plays today. Ed, how would you evaluate how he's coming back? Get better. He's getting better. Came here last year, lost by 25, then Wisconsin went to the Final Four. I will, two part question simply. Do they look better to you, the Badgers? And do you feel like Illinois is kind of, after being here two years in a row now, closing the gap? Yeah, I, n number one, I think they're really good. Um, you know, today's whatever it is, February, look at my watch here, Steve, 15th. Um, they're really good. I mean, they're a terrific ball club. You know, still, there's still a long way to go uh, for them and for us, you know, for everybody that's, that's, that's playing here down the stretch. Um, but I think, you know, my opinion at this stage, they're the best team of the three that we played in the last three years, and I thought the last two were pretty good. At the same time, I also think to, as of today, and against today, the season doesn't end today, I think we're better than we were the, the last two years today. Now, you know, can we finish as strong? We'll see. You know, we got to wor worry about getting better this week, take the, the week off that we have. Sprinkle in some mental and physical refreshment with, for those guys. We're going to get a couple days off, and we got to sharpen up a couple things and be ready to go a week from today. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thanks, Coach.